I'm from, I'm from Venezuela and I did my father from Peru and I did my car culinary career in Peru. We offer a new Peruvian cuisine, new face of the Peruvian cuisine. What that means? We use Peruvian products, Peruvian techniques in a different way or in a way where people from everywhere in the world can understand or see the Peruvian cuisine. We use crudos, tiraditos, we use ají amarillo. Peru is rich of different microclimes and products that makes unique the cuisine. I think the plating is one of the most important things and the recipe, right? It's where the product ends and it has to be a beautiful plate. We use a lot of stone plates, like rustic style, but I also have to need to have some personality with the plate. But by personality, I'm talking about the aesthetic of the interpretation of the dish, colors, textures. So um, that's where I go into Korean and start, you know, researching and imagine these dishes. So what we did here is a ceviche with blue point oysters. We took the oyster from the shell, we added in a bowl, we put chai oil and fresh lime, we put it in the plate, and then we add jamaica or hibiscus. Just reduction of the flour, that's it. No more than that. So um, the acidity, the nice flavor of the jamaica is going fresh with this uh, ceviche, single. We got mahi mahi. A beautiful fish. We make a five little cuts with sashimi, not too thick, pretty time. And we make a tiger meal or, or sauce, made it with ají amarillo, Peruvian yellow chili pepper. And we also use in juzu, this uh, citrus, this Japanese citrus. And we just cover it a little bit. And then we have this uh, honey, made it with mustard seeds and balsamic, which when I tried it, I said, this is the perfect combination of acidity. You know, the mustard give it a nice crunchy texture. And the ají amarillo with the lime is going really well. So the idea is just to grab it. You know, you're drinking a pisco sour. You got this bite where you're going to have the acidity, the spicy of the pepper, and the sweetness of this honey with the balsamic. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So my experience brew has been the opportunity to have different ways to see from Chinese influence, from Japanese influence, and I've always been very passionate about Japanese cuisine. We want to bring the Peruvian flavors with these Japanese techniques, but with this kick of spices or this crunchiness of the Peruvian corn, fresh lime coming on top. So that is actually what we call or it's been known as Nikkei cuisine. This perfect combination and people love it. I love it. I'm very, very fan of Nikkei cuisine.